All right, guys, gonna make a real quick video. I've got some work uh, that I need to do for myself, and I figured um, I've actually already done it, actually. And then uh, I thought I'd make a video though and show you what I did. Um, but I'm not gonna show you the actual work that I did uh, because it's on a firearm and it's got my trust information and uh, my serial number. Maybe that's paranoid, but uh, I'm not gonna show that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate on this piece of steel how to basically engrave. Uh, whatever you need engraved. So what I've got is uh, this is a 12 volt battery. Um, I just used what I had laying around. This is 12 volt battery out of my kids uh, big wheels. I've got an adapter that I made for that 12 volt battery. I've got uh, this is already discolored a little bit but it'll work fine. This is a quarter cup of uh, water, warm water and uh, one tablespoon of salt. And then I'm going to take uh, I just used some cloth. I've got an old t-shirt here and I'm going to cut a little bit off the sleeve. I like to use the edge, like the, the, the hemmed part of the sleeve. This seems to work out pretty well. Um, so I just cut the edge of a sleeve right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it into manageable slices here. You'll need to, you'll have a bunch of these because when you get done um, you're going to eat those up while you're etching. Electro etching, it's going to look like this when it's done. So, make up a bunch of those real quick. Three. And then after I make up those, the biggest, hardest part for probably most people is going to be figuring out where you're going to get your stencil from. Um, you need a, a stencil that's going to withstand uh, a little bit of rubbing, you're going to be rubbing on it. So there's that. And uh, if you know anybody with a uh, vinyl cutter, that's who you want to talk to. Um, or you can find people on the internet. Uh, but I've got basically a piece of vinyl here that I cut out um, what I want to etch. And you want to make a, uh, a stencil. So you normally you take the parts that you normally would leave as the sticker. So I'm going to do that real quick. And just take a second, peel all those out. All right. So you've got. Uh, I'm gonna make this fish, this dead fish, belly up fish. So that. Now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make the stencil. So I'm gonna take the sticky part here. Just gonna rub it with a pencil so it'll all be stuck. And now I'm gonna peel it off and I'm gonna stick it on my metal. Actually, before I do that, you wanna make sure this is clean. Because um, if it's got oil and stuff on it, it's not gonna do real well. So, real quick, let's clean it off. some acetone and I've already cleaned this but it obviously could use a little more all right so that's probably good enough for this all right so now I'm going to take my stencil and I'm going to apply it. And this is just a piece of scrap. Obviously, you'd want to take good care and make sure you get it right where you want it and all that good stuff. I'm just going to kind of hit it where I was kind of the most active with the acetone here. Rub that on. Peel this back. And then I'm just going to pull these sides down like this real quick. All right. So basically, um, there is our stencil. If this was on a firearm or something, 
I would basically take a little bit of tape and cover up anything I didn't want er errant etching. So kind of like that. All right, so we got that, we got this. Now what we're gonna do is gonna take our solution, we're gonna take our battery, and uh, we're gonna hook it all together. Battery goes to the positive, goes to the piece. So this would be your receiver if you're etching a gun. The negative is gonna go to the, uh, the solution, the etching solution. So plug that up. Connect that. I'm going to put on some gloves because um, it gets nice and warm sometimes. So grab a glove. All right. Glove. PPE, man. You got to be safe. Okay. So now all we're going to do. Get that nice and juicy, and go to town. And you'll see, hopefully that video is picking that up, but you'll see it start bubbling. You can actually hear it, see a little steam coming off. All right, so to keep the video short, let's see. I'm going to, um, oh, that's nasty. I'm gonna unplug this. I'm gonna unplug this so I don't short this out during the rest of the video. Let's see what we've got here. Alright, I'm going to take this glove off. Well, that's not bad. As you can see, let's see if I can get it to focus on that. It's not going to do it, is it? Nope. Um, one thing you can do to see the depth or the quality, you can take some chalk. For those who might be wondering how actually how deep it is, um, the NFA engravings have to be three thousandths of an inch, and this is definitely that. Yeah, we said focus, but it's not going to. Sorry. Focus. Sort of. All right. So anyway, that's it. And you can see uh, for those worried about NFA, I mean that's plenty deep. When you paint that, that'll be uh, it'll be deeper than the engravings that come on the firearm. So there you go.